Hi, I'm Jonathan Banks, Executive Automotive Analyst at NADA Used Car Guide with this month's market update. For the sixth consecutive month, new deliveries increased year over year and were up 9% in July. Mainstream brands led with over 9% growth, while luxury brands were up 7%, helping push the market's year-to-date sales up 5% compared to a year ago. The seasonally adjusted annual rate dipped slightly to 16.4 million units in July, but has risen year over year every month since February. Among domestic auto manufacturers, Fiat Chrysler stood out with, the, with greater than 20% sales growth, thanks in particular to its Jeep brand, which was up 41%, with the Cherokee model leading the charge. With 7% sales growth, imports finished behind domestics in July, but were solid nonetheless. While year-to-date deliveries remain above the industry's pace with 5% growth, Asian brands were up 8%, once again leading European makes, which were up 2%. Subaru had another remarkable month with July deliveries improving by 27%, achieving year-over-year gains from every current model, while Mazda sales were up an impressive 17%, as its Mazda 6 and Mazda 2 models were stellar performers. Per auto data, incentive spending continues to rise through the summer months and average about $2,900 per unit in July. Incentives jumped 13% year over year, which was the third double-digit increase in less than a year. The increase has moved incentive spit levels to post-recession highs, but well below the extravagant spending during the recession and in the early 2000s. The discounting has done its job as inventory of new vehicles climbed by only two days from June to reach a reasonable 61-day supply in July. On the used side of the market, wholesale price movement in July was out of character for the month, with depreciation more closely resembling the steeper declines usually witnessed in the fall rather than the more subtle ones observed in the heart of summer. This could simply be a correction from the sharp increases witnessed in March and April, or used prices may be experiencing downward pressure from the aforementioned incentive increases. Altogether, prices of vehicles up to eight years in age fell by an average of 3.5% on a monthly basis in July, which was well above the 1% drop average from 2011 to 2013 and NADA's forecast of 1.5%. The month's drop was also the biggest recorded in the last four months. July's unusually sharp fall pulled NADA's seasonally adjusted used vehicle price index down by almost three points to 123.3 which coincidentally is at a level seen in the months leading up to March when prices jumped by the highest rate in three years, 4%. In July, depreciation across non-luxury car segments was greater than the losses recorded by trucks and SUVs. The three biggest moving segments on the mainstream side of the market were subcompact, compact, and mid-sized cars, down by about 3.5% apiece. Large SUV and compact utilities saw nearly 3% shave from their bottom lines as well, while mid-sized vans and utilities performed only slightly better, with losses around 2.5%. Large pickups continued to perform very well and fell by only about 1.5%, which is the smallest decline for the month. As a collective, luxury segments were hit harder than their mainstream counterparts last month. Luxury mid-size car prices took the biggest tumble, with declines averaging about 4%. Luxury large cars, luxury mid-size utilities, and luxury compact cars performed only slightly better, down, a, down by about 3.5% for the month. Luxury compact utility prices fell by about 2.5%, which is the least of the premium segments for the second month in a row. Even with July's out-of-character wholesale declines, Prices year-to-date are still 2.3% higher than they were last year. Prices for large pickups are up more than 11% over last year's level, and the segment continues to lead others by a large margin. Year-to-date gains for large SUVs have also been significant, with prices up a little over 6%. Subcompact cars continue to underperform the market, Averaged by a large margin, prices were down by more than 1.5% compared to last year. Prices for luxury large, luxury midsize, and luxury compact cars are lower as well. The more than 5.5% loss for luxury large cars remains the most in the industry year to date. NADA's forecast for August changed minimally from July's edition of guidelines. 
depreciation is now expected to be between 2 to 2.5%, two which is half a percentage point higher than last month's forecast. September's forecast remains unchanged, with prices expected to fall by 25 to 3%. Luxury car and utility prices are expected to decline the most over the period, followed by subcompact cars, mid-sized vans, and compact and mid-sized utilities. Compact and mid-sized car depreciation should be close to the market average, while pickup losses are expected to remain minimal. For additional market insight, please download August edition of Guidelines. Thanks for watching.